Hi friends! This is Carmen, your Broadway stitcher, coming to you from the heart of New York City. Today is August 6, 2018. Uh, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to watch. If you're new, welcome! And I hope you enjoy the show. Uh, as you can see from the title of our show today, uh, everything changes during previews and our recording spot is changing today. Yay! Uh, I have a brick wall in my apartment, which is really pretty. I uh, love how it looks. Unfortunately, it's not the best for hanging things uh, because the way they set it up, the, the bricks are flat uh, against the mortar. So there's no indentation for me to use one of those gripping hangers um, to put things up, which is probably a good thing. That way I don't fill this up. Um, but I do have my oranges painting, which you'll see in another show. Uh, there was a hole already up there. I did not drill anything new, so I just used an existing hole to drill it. Uh, behind me is this lovely, lovely, lovely corner wall unit, which my mom actually painted for me. Let me step aside. Um, when I moved to Arizona, I bought this and it was unfinished. Um, we, there was a really close to my place was an unfinished wood store. So they had all kinds of things. Um, so my mom came to visit me right after I moved. And unfortunately, er, I had to work a lot. We were under some deadlines and whatnot. So I didn't get to spend as much time with her as, as I would have liked, but that gave her a lot of time in Phoenix. So the poor thing, she would go into the store and it was very close to my apartment. Uh, she would go in in the mornings and just paint and she did an amazing job. Um, all these different flowers and I don't know if they're herbs or whatnot. Uh, they were in a one of those painting magazines, DIY crafts kinds of things. And so we stenciled it and she's an artist. She really is. And so she painted those uh, during her, my, her downtime. Um, and then, of course, once I get home at night and on the weekend. But lovely, lovely, lovely. That has traveled with me since 2003, um, through 12 years in Arizona, through like four or five apartments, my house. Uh, here, came to New York City. Now, this is the third apartment it's been in. And it's one of those things that I'm going to have for a long time. And it's a smaller co corner wall unit. I can only get a 32-inch TV in there, a uh, flat screen. So that's good. I don't need that big of a screen anyways because my apartment is so tiny. Uh, but that is my corner wall unit and I love it, yay. All right, so lots to talk about this week. Uh, for those in the US, I hope you had a fantastic Labor Day. Uh, here in New York, it was hot. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> um, that's a joke from SpongeBob, uh, which I saw this weekend. So my cousin was visiting with his family uh, my cousin is married and they have two little girls, uh, second grade and kindergarten or first grade and kindergarten, something like that, so they're pretty young. Of course, they went to see Frozen, they loved it. Um, then my cousin and his wife went to see Hamilton and they loved it, of course, come on. Um, and then I, just, I was just talking about Spongebob, Squarepants the musical the whole weekend and telling them how good it was. And so they finally caved in, we saw it on Sunday, of course I went with them. Lucky number seven, hey, my seventh visit, talking about that on my seventh video, how cool. Uh, and they loved it, um, it really is a lot of fun. I'm so sad it's closing, but what can you do? Happy trails to the sponge and the bobs. Okay, uh, lots to talk about today. Uh, last week I did have a giveaway for 200 subscribers, which by the time I looked at my channel, I had 300, yay! So that means we've got more giveaways, so keep in tune for that later today. But last week's giveaway, okay, we had two giveaways because it was 200 subscribers. So the girl pinafore uh, pattern and kit from Shepherd's Bush goes to Julie Haynes. Congratulations, Julie. I will put a comment on your comment and just you can reach me via Instagram. It's probably the easiest. Leave a comment here. Uh, don't leave your email there. Uh, let's figure out some private way to get in touch so I can get your address. The, and that one had a lot of re people who wanted it. The boy, the sailor, we only had two people. So yeah, you had a 50-50 chance. And so congratulations, Lori S. of Once Upon a Stitch. And as soon as I finish recording this, I'll put a note 
on your comments. That way you guys can get in touch with me and I can send your kit off to you. Yay! Okay, next up, uh, some shout outs. Uh, some new floss tubers I've been watching this past week. Uh, Ardith Designs, she is out of Virginia, I believe. Virginia or Maryland? Virginia. Uh, she saves the stitches a lot and she upcycles things. Um, so it's great to see her finds in Virginia, which, wow, right? You can probably get a lot better things in Virginia than here in the city in New York. Because um, I haven't found any good stuff in thrift stores here, to be honest. Uh, Silver Stitcher, she is out of Georgia. She does fantastic projects. Uh, Cross My Stitches, she did a bird watcher pattern that was really wide and she found a frame at a Goodwill store for like $7. And she had it framed and she posted it on her latest video. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. And with a $7 frame, right? Come on, that's fantastic. So congratulations, Cross My Stitches. I loved that bird watcher finish. So, a um, couple more things before we start some show and tells. Um, let's see, what am I gonna do? Okay, oh, brand new thing for me. This is something new. I tea dyed, so herbal tea dyed. Uh, and this is not coming through as nice as it is. Uh, as you all know, if you've seen my previous shows, I drink me some elderberry tea from McNulty's. Yeah, it's not gonna show up. Um, <laughs> I now buy by the pound. So this is half a pound. I just go through that thing like you wouldn't believe. And actually, I forgot my cup. Oh, oh. So let me go get it, I'll be right back. Okay, much better. Uh, generic cup today because the shows I'm gonna talk about, I don't have a cup for. But anyways, uh, elderberry tea is very, very dark purple. It's delicious, so I hope you all have some. But anyways, so I decided to try and dye my first time dyeing fabric, and this is an opalescent, this was an opalescent 20 count Lugana. And it dyed pretty well. Uh, it's very, very light. So it's a very light lilac. And I'm using this for a Biscorn You Swap. Um, and my recipient likes purple, so I hope this works. And uh, we'll see, I'm gonna make my own pattern. Ooh, um, and stitch it for her. So, that will be, that's my first time dyeing something. And I really do need to do the coffee and tea dye because I love that beigey kind of color. Um, my favorite fabric is the Bloon from Picture This Plus. So if you have, if you've used that, you know what that looks like. The next thing, look how cool this is. Oh my gosh. No, it's not the world's biggest pill, but it does look like that. Uh, I'm going to go see a show today called Be More Chill, which I'm so excited. They just announced that they're going to Broadway. Ah, yes. February, 2019, they're going to Broadway. I'm super excited. Uh, I've been dying to watch the show and I, friend of mine got got us some excellent tickets for tonight so I've waited more than a month to see this darn show I'm super excited but what's even better is um, in the show they have these big things called squips which are pills you take that have these computers and they just upgrade you to a better super hyper person so I'm bringing my own squip yay <laughs> But the cool thing about this is it's a pen, people. Oh my God, how awesome is that? Okay, so anyways, little sidetrack there. I had asked for some recommendations on what to watch while I was stitching, so thank you for everyone who commented, especially those who let me know that the Guernsey Potato Peel Pie Society uh, movie was out. Um, it is a great book, and here's the full title, in case I missed any words. It was such a fantastic, I read this book many years ago. It was lovely, I cried of course, it's a beautiful story. And now it's out on Netflix. So for those of you who have Netflix, go watch it. It is definitely worth it. Uh, I'm in love with the lead actor and I forget his name, but you know, confession, confessions of a stitcher. I will definitely watch a show for a cute lead actor. Uh, so <laughs> speaking of, if you have Amazon Prime, go watch Jack Ryan. 
with John Krasinski. Yeah. Uh, ignore the, the some of the stupid things that they do and they miss, which you're like, okay, I'm not even certified by any security agency and I know I would not have missed that or something gets, some action happens that you're like, no, 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 no. Don't worry. He's just so good to look at, you won't mind. It's, it's pretty good, I give it a B. I have not read the uh, Tom Clancy books, so I don't have that disgust over what they did with his boss, which uh, reading some of the reviews on Amazon, you can see that some people are bothered by that. It was fine for me, no biggie, right? John Krasinski, you may know him from A Quiet Place with his wife, Emily Blunt. They did that movie and he was so good in it. Oh, oh. I won't give it away, but there's one part and you know what I'm talking about. And I was like, no, 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 no. But anyways, what can you do, right? Uh, but it, so those are my recommendations. A Quiet Place, if you haven't seen it. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, Jack Ryan. If you have Netflix, uh, The Guernsey Potato Peel Pie Society. Um, fantastic shows and great entertaining. Uh, someone else recommended Indian Detective, so I'm gonna check that out as well. Um, and then there's another show that is oh so good. It's one of these uh, multi-episode um, shows that end. So it's eight or 10 episodes. Um, it's in French and it's dubbed in Spanish. So if you speak either of those languages, you can stitch and watch. Um, if you speak English, uh, unfortunately you have, they only have captions. Don't know why it wasn't dubbed in English, but who knows. It's called La Mante. La Mante? Um, and right here, it's fantastic. It's about a woman serial killer. Oh, and that's all I'm gonna tell you because there's a little bit of a, ooh, a twist, and I don't wanna spoil it for you. I mean, there's a big, it's, it's a woman serial killer, so it's, it's big already. Okay, so let me stop talking movies and let's get back to stitching. Oh, I didn't show you my shirt. Look at this. We can forecast cross stitch with no chance of house cleaning or cooking. Yay! This was part of my wardrobe at StitchCon this past year, and I'm sure it'll make another appearance next year unless I find some awesome new shirts that take it out of the rink. But maybe for the Saturday day, I'll wear it. Uh, so let's talk haul, y'all. Um, I got some things from tomorrow's heirlooms.com and I FFO'd part of my haul so that's gonna come in the FFO section but the rest of the things that I purchased were um, Heart in Hand the Summer Sampler and this is a kit which includes everything I have been eyeing this forever ever ever every time I see it on Instagram I think oh I need to get that I need to get that and I guess I should stitch it up pretty quick, huh? Um, I love it. I love the finishing too, with the fabric and the little rickrack and everything, and all that is included. Yay, so that's gonna be a fast stitch. Letters are pretty quick um, most of the time. And then I went a little, a little crazy. So it was definitely a hard in hand order this time. I ordered all seven of the bird in the hand samplers. So they're all, they're the alphabet samplers. The first four weeks are the seasons. So spring, winter, winter, summer, spring, and autumn, which just came out. And then the other is the, um, the festivities or the, oh, what word am I thinking? Um, Halloween. Christmas and Thanksgiving the holidays. That's what I'm thinking. So I have all seven. Yay So I gotta think of a way I'm definitely gonna Priscilla this right um, so that I can just interchange it and just put in which one ever is um, That time of the year although their little finishes are so cute. Ah But I want to do something that I can rip off. So those were my hauls from there Did I get anything else? Sorry. I'm looking at my table to see what else I have on here. Uh, and that was it. Yeah, that was it. Ooh. Except for one more thing, which I'm going to show you in the FFO section. So let's go to something else.
You all know that I've been pretty, pretty hung up on working on my long dog sampler. So, good news is, yay, the August section is complete, except for the top part of the alphabet. And um, I'm leaving that off until next month, because next month's piece is this one right here. So we'll have the entire alphabet. And I'm thinking to maybe put my initials as the middle three letters, or maybe as the first three letters so that the rest of the alphabet is not affected. Um, so I wanted, I'm waiting for the rest of the alphabet to come out for next month, and then I can play around on the computer and see. But we're done, yay! Oh my God, the color is coming out fantastic. Yeah, this is a very, very good representation of what that looks like. Maybe this will be the screen capture. Yes. Okay, but anyways, remember the bottom that I hated so much? Oh, that was so, that's so annoying that the image gets cut off. And now I just need to wait for it um, till next month. Well, no, actually till November. That's what it was. I have to wait till November for that to finish. So I've got four threads in the back of this project that are just dangling. <laughs> but anyways, all right. Um, I also actually did a little video when I was stitching the inside here. So maybe I'll post that up um, while I'm on vacation next week. Yay. I haven't been completely monogamous though with my stitching, although pretty much it's been Long Dog, Sampler, and Guardians. Um, I did put in a little bit more love into the Peace on Earth South. Love it, love it, love it. I just, um, I'm going to give this some more love. I'm still missing some threads and the problem is they're at, they're in New Jersey. So I have to get over there and it's a hassle and, uh, but I'm going to work. I do have some of the, the fat, uh, some of the floss. So I'm going to work as much as I can. And you can see I finished the snow. Yay. And if you look from further away, you can see the snowflakes a little bit. It's much harder from a front. So there's just, there's one more snowflake here, then I'll work on the flowers. But I'm definitely gonna give this some love this week um, because I do need a break from Long Dog. It's a lot of work whenever I get it. I love it when I'm stitching it, but to get into it, you just gotta think a little bit because you, that's when you have to pay attention to. You cannot go la 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 on that one. Oh well. <laughs> Now we talk about the Broadway, woo, yay. And today's Broadway section has a link to one of my FFOs. So let's talk stitching first and then you'll see why it's going to be Broadway. Uh, it's the beginning of the month, people, so you know what that means. It means it is Guardians of Notre Dame time. Look, ah, uh, oh, I love it, love it, love it. But I'm so sad. I'm so blue because we're starting the countdown. Um, this month was the final blue Guardian. So now we only have one of each color left. Oh, but... Isn't this fabric amazing? Oh, and it's coming out really, really nice right here. You can really see this is ancient. It's 40 count, ancient, picture this plus. Love picture this plus, right? But anyways, uh, this guardian is blue and I'm naming all my guardians based on the color. Um, so we have Barrick, Barrick, we have Victor and Hugh, um, no. Oh, who's Hugo? H. No, we have Victor, <laughs> I forget, oh, I think this was Gregor, this is Sybil, and then Branson, so any of you Downton Abbey fans are, um, would know why, and of course I had to put them facing each other because it's Sybil, uh, so this was Shell Pink, is the color that uh, Brittany from Ingleside Imaginarium selected. And so Sybil matched perfectly. And then the next one was blue and they face each other. So that had to be Branson. Um, and then this is Varric with a V. And I just realized the other day that Varric and Varric are very similar, but oh well, whatever. Um, G is Goran 
for our favorite ER doctor. Oh my God, he's so cute. Um, S is for Satine because I had just watched uh, Moulin Rouge that month. So hey, so I have two, excellent. And B, our last B guy is Bryce for Bryce Pinkham. And take a look at him right here. And I'll just keep on putting pictures of him because he's such a cutie. Okay, Bryce Pinkham, I first saw him right after I moved here, one of the first shows I saw on Broadway. Um, so this had to be, oh, actually, I saw it on my birthday in 2014. Well, happy birthday to me. So I saw it in September. So almost four years ago now, um, and that was A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. It was hilarious. And he played Monty, the main character. It was so funny, oh my gosh. Uh, quick synopsis, um, a guy is like eighth in line to inherit, uh, so he starts killing people, right? How do you get to be the heir to the throne? you kill everybody ahead of you. <laughs> but it is so, it's hilarious, it's funny. I know it has done some tours, um, so you may still be able to see that somewhere in your town. Then, over the holidays, last season? Last year, maybe? Um, or the year before? Holiday Inn. Oh, Irving Berlin's Holiday Inn. People, it's gorgeous, it was so funny. Um, and it was also taped and it was shown either on Broadway HD, no, no, I think it was shown on PBS, right? Uh, so I hope that if, if it was on PBS, which I believe so, that you had got a chance to see it. Oh my God. It is just such a classic Broadway, right? It's just happy and the songs are songs you know and the tap dancing, oh my goodness. Uh, between Bryce Pinkham and Corbin Blue, oh my God! And he's coming to do anything goes. He's gonna be in DC, so I think I'm gonna include that in my DC trip next time I go. Anyways, Bryce Pinkham, oh he's so cute. Um, he was also in. He's also in Mercy Street on PBS, and he was in Benny and June in London. Mm, so I didn't get to see it. I hope that transfers. Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, but anyways, so Bryce Pinkham, what a cutie. He is an American. I don't know why. The first time I saw him, I thought he was British. I don't know. He just has that cutie pie British look. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that is, where am I? This way. Whoops, tilted it wrong. So there you go. Guardians of Notre Dame. Love, love, love it. Oh, I love it. Can I just say that one more time? Brittany, you did an amazing job and I'm gonna send you lots of love the beginning of every single month, except for December when this is over. Um, I know how I wanna frame it and it's gonna be a little different um, and, if, and I may be able to make it myself. So if I can do that, oh, it's gonna be a slam dunk. But I don't know, it may be a little bit above my skills. But we'll see, who knows, right? Uh, okay, so let's continue with some more FFOs. FFO, I'm finished, woohoo. All right, two things I wanna talk about. The first one is not cross-stitch, but you're gonna love it, it's so cute. Check this out. Uh, first of all, I love this fabric. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, I made this a couple of years back, so I don't know if that fabric's still available, but isn't it delicious? Our egg and I coordinated with orange, and an orange button. But what is this you say? Well, let's check it out. Why don't we open it up and see what's inside? <gasps> There's an iron. This is a portable ironing board or a little ironing mat, which fits perfectly my one of my travel irons. I have two, I have a smaller one. That's the bigger one. The inside is this heat resistant fabric that is similar to what you see on ironing covers. Uh, very metallic, very spacey, uh, but, and the other side is that gorgeous, oh, I love it, love it, love it, and you just follow the pattern, it has you stitching some folding lines, and then when you put it all together, and you just fold 
on those lines. This is a hair tie. Oh, how simple is that? And then you put a coordinating button and sew your handles on. Let me grab them. And voila, you have an iron caddy, which is also an ironing board. So you can take it if you go to your quilting retreat, if you go to a cross stitch retreat, right? And you finish something, you may need to iron it. You may need to iron some backing fat, some interfacing if you're going to um, finish it up like Vana, uh, things like that. So that's number one. Let's get ready for number two. Okay, number two, finish number two is something I fell in love with from Instagram. Oh, Instagram, you horrible, horrible thing because I fall in love with everything that everybody's doing. But uh, tomorrow's heirlooms, they are Tom Air, H-E-I-R 2018, I think. I'll put their handle up here. They posted this. Um, so I'm just gonna show you because you're gonna fall in love with it. <laughs> it's a rocking chair that has a seat cushion Sits a spell. Oh, how cute is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, lots to talk about. So first, let's just talk the, the basics, right? Um, it is from Not Forgotten Farm, which I love. It's called Sit a Spell. Um, so I had bought this last week, but I wanted to finish it before I showed it to you because... Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you in this review. Unfortunately, this picture does zero justice to the beauty of the project. Um, the colors are really faded even, and it's not just me on this video. The printing is just really faded. You can barely make out that there's different colors in the pattern. Um, so I wish they had done a little better job of their printing, but it is what it is. The other thing I'll point out to you, they say the stitch count is 41 by 36. It's actually 43 by 38. And I know how the miss count happened. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the borders, there's a border all the way around. And instead of coming all the way to the corner and tw twisting, that corner stitch is not there. So if you were to count the bottom of the border without those two, that's what gives you these numbers. Just remember you gotta add two stitches to both areas. So let's look at it. Oh, it's so cute. All right, this is it. And look how tiny, look, 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 ah. Uh, oh, okay, sorry, I gotta go back. And we're gonna make a, hopefully this can be. Okay, color change, sorry, but I want this to show up really well up close. So if you look closely, um, and I don't know how well that's focusing. It says sit a spell, so cute. Oh, there we go, that's a better. And I added beads to the edging. So when I stitch this together, every third stitch, I just added a bead. And I love it. I think it just gives it a little bit of bling. On the back, I just found a cross-stitch alphabet on the internet and I just made it kind of wonky, give it that primitive look of um, way back when. And then I stuffed it with some walnut shells, crushed walnut. Makes great stuffing. Uh, it gives it a little heft, so it's, a, it's got some weight to it, which is nice. It says sit a spell, yay! Now, this is not the original chair that is um, called for in the pattern. Uh, not Forgotten Farms does have it on their Etsy store. It's really pricey, wow. So, um, so this is fine. Uh, a couple of things. So this is from Tomorrow's Heirlooms and uh, you can purchase that separately from the pattern and the fabric and whatnot. Um, so really what it is, is a basic um, unfinished wood rocking chair uh, that they spray painted black, uh, which is great. Uh, only thing I would have liked is that there's some rough edges um, on the chair itself. Uh, so maybe I, I would have preferred to have 
received it unfinished so I could just um, sand it down a little bit and make it a little bit smoother um, but that's okay that's me I'm crafty I can go buy some black spray paint step outside on the street of New York City and spray paint this is a rocking chair it's nice that it comes finished and whatnot um, one thing I will tell you though because if you want to get this just be warned the pattern calls for a 32 count uh, Weeks Style Works tin roof. I had 35 count tin roof because I had um, stitched something else on it. So I had plenty of 35 count. And I said, let me do 35 count. It might be a little bit smaller, but that's fine. And boy, am I glad I did because even with the 35 count, this barely fits in there. So I'm going to, I'm squishing this really. If you can see here, this is actually really squished so it does not sit very nicely in there i wish it would sit better and if you see it from this side you can see there a little bit better it's squished and this is on 35 count now it's only 41 stitches so what are you missing you're basically getting what three stitches or whatnot but if this is 35 count and you can see i did not add i added two um, threads extra because that's where the um, the border is that you stitch together with a whip stitch um, that's all that I have extra so I only have four stitches extra period and it it comes out that squished uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm either going to cut this off cut a niche into here a notch into here I have a Dremel so it's really easy that way the cushion lays flat um, and if I don't like the look of that, I'm just going to chop the arms off completely. Completely. So take a look. Um, I'll do that later today or tomorrow. Uh, on my Instagram, I'll post it so you can see it. But otherwise, lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, just a couple of watch outs. Um, the stitch count is missing two stitches per side. So it's 43 by 38. Um, the... If you stitch it and you get the chair from tomorrow's heirlooms and you want it to have a nicer fit, do your stitching on 35 count, not 32 count. Um, and don't add too much, otherwise it won't fit. But if you want to chop off the arms like I will, do it. Why not, right? Make it your own. And I think this kind of rocking chair will look fine without the arms. If not, whatever, right? <laughs> Okay, what else did I Oh, I changed all the colors, all the called for colors. Um, I did not have any of what the called for colors were, and this is such a small project. I just used a couple of strands of each color, and that was it. So I used my own colors of whatever I had in my stash. Um, so here's what I used. I used, sorry, I need to get this back in. I used Classic Color Works Timber for the dark part. I used Weeks Dye Works Sweet Potato. For the orange and then for the two greens i used weeks dye works kudzu and artichoke so those are the two that i used and it came out really pretty i love it i it's you know it's super cute i just wish it would have fit the chair a little better um otherwise it's really really cute and here you can see the lighter and the darker green there's the orange and then timber is all the words and the border is an orange and then I added some Mill Hill beads. They are Glass Seed 00221. And they're not gonna focus, so. Um, I'll put it in the show notes so you can have all that information. And then I filled it in with crushed walnuts. Um, they use sawdust, I believe. Um, anything just to give it a little plumpness is pretty cool. And those are my FFOs for the week. When I was getting ready for last week's giveaway, uh, I, I saw my channel at 200 something subscribers, so I said, let's do two giveaways, right? Um, and then right away, I hit 300 something, so yay! Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, it's so much fun. Leave a comment. I love comments now. I just wanna talk to everybody, and I've been commenting a lot more on your uh, shows, uh, so hopefully you've seen that. Yay! Okay, now that we've hit 363 as of when I started filming this, um, you know what that means. We've got to do one, two, and three. 
giveaways this week. All right. And they're all going to be holiday related because we're coming up. We're getting close to Halloween, Thanksgiving. We're getting close to Christmas. So let's do two, one, one Christmas because it's always good to have Christmas stitching and two Halloween. All right. So first up, this is a set of post stitches. Um, these are part of the basket that I won at StitchCon. Um, these are things that I, I'm not going to stitch and I don't want them to just stay in my stash forever. I want them to go to a loving home for someone who's going to really enjoy them and is going to stitch them up. So these are two Sue Hillis designs and they're lovely. Not that I don't like them, it's just I'm not going to stitch them. So I just don't want them to sit here and just drag, right? Um, the first one is, um, so I'll show you the picture. And it's a little more pink than it looks, but it says, when what to my wondering I should appear, but 10 extra pounds on hip, thighs, and rear. Aww. True story, right? Christmas time with all of those desserts. Oh, yummy, 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 yum. And then the second one is Santa's Christmas list, number one, wider chimneys, <laughs> better hours, fat-free cookies. Yeah, we can all relate to number three, right? So there you go. Okay, so this is going to be the first set. And all you need to do is say, I want to stitch the postcards. We're calling these postcards, okay? Or no, 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 let's take that. I want to stitch Christmas. That's what it is. I want to stitch Christmas, or just say the word Christmas. All right, set number two are Lizzie Cates. Uh, these are two snippets. One is Boo Squared, yay. And the other one is Treat Time, yay. So Lizzie Kate's going out of, um, out of print, right? Um, again, these are from that basket I won and I have tons of Lizzie Kate's and I wanna stitch everything, but I already have stuff that I'm gonna stitch, so I don't want this to just, again, drag on and on, okay? So the set, these sets say I want to stitch the minis or mini, something with mini or the word mini. Okay. The third item is the Halloween Eve, also from Lizzie Kate. I don't know how the heck this happened. I bought two. <laughs> I bought it. I bought one, put it away, completely forgot about it. And then I think I was in, uh, when I went to Deer Hill Farm, cross-stitching, I bought it again, because why not, right? This, my friends, is the entire kit. Yes, the kit to finish it like this. So you get the finishing fabric, or the coordinating fabric, you get the linen to stitch it on, and you also get the rickrack. Yay! So, the, uh, say I wanna stitch the kit. The kit is your keyword. Okay, so, rules. Uh, please be 18 and over or have your parents' permission so I can send this to you legally. Uh, I will ship these anywhere in the world. Um, so just let me know if you're not in the U.S. where you are. Um, and you can enter for all three of them. Again, kit, mini, postcards. Okay? So feel free to enter all three. You can only win one of the three, right? Because we want to spread the love, the stitchy kindness and the stitchy love as far and as wide as we can. Um, but do that. Be a subscriber, please. Please and thank you. And I will let you know for during next week's episode who the winners are. Okay. And that's it for this week, friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll be back next week. Uh, if you are, are not a subscriber yet, please subscribe down below. There's also the little alarm, the little bell, so that you know when I have new videos posted. Uh, I will definitely post next week sometime before I go on vacation. Yay! And I might have some videos set up for while I'm out so that you can still see me a little bit um, during that time. Otherwise, I will see you at the... I'll see you next week. Yes. All right. Have a great week and a great weekend. Bye!